Hi guys. Just a quick look at the noise reduction. Noise reduction on the ICOM ICR 8600. So we're in the 80 meter band. It's quite noisy. This is this is firmware version firmware version 1.13 and okay I'll show you the uh, noise reduction so it's quite noisy on this band now Delta X-ray CQ, Oscar, Dongle, Alpha. So I tend to use it between one and between one and five. I tend to use it between one and five. Uh, I find that uh, five can be too much sometimes. Four, three or four can be too much occasionally. So one and two is quite nice, but not enough. But if you give it a couple of seconds to settle down, then it's actually quite nice uh, using this noise reduction. That's it on four, I think. That's it on four there. It goes all the way to 15, but that's that's just really bad uh, watery sound. But a cold day, about 10 degrees, about 12 or 13 degrees less than yesterday. A bit of rain this morning after a four week it, is, uh, no rain at all. it is very good. It's very good if you know how to use it and you know how to uh, understand that level four doesn't mean level four in all conditions. Level four might be too strong in some conditions. Level four might be not quite enough in some conditions. And you have to give it a couple of se seconds to settle down as well. You know, a bit of time to settle down. It can be working uh, away and it does take a couple of seconds to work out which parts to emit and which parts to emphasize uh, that's the way the noise reduction filter works so as i say you need to understand how it works and give it a little bit of a chance and i've had some great results with it uh, really does cut a lot of the noise down um I'm not sure about in comparison to other noise reduction systems such as the uh, the famous JRC545 DSP radio or anything like that or um, any other sort of uh, the Watkins Johnson one of those has uh, got a good DSP one of the early DSP systems but this this noise uh, sorry noise reduction systems in its DSP but this is uh, yeah, it's it's very good to be honest. It's not, you know, I can't really see. There's only one spit. I've had um, a speaker, a BHI speaker, uh, noise reduction, noise cancellation speaker, desktop speaker, and that was extremely good. Probably at least as good as this, but uh, that was more in the AF stage. I'm not sure where this noise reduction is done on the ICOM. Uh, so that's it, guys. Just a quick look at the uh, the noise reduction. I'll just see if we can have a little tune and um, let's see if we pick anything else up. Okay, nice. Well, I hope um, 
hope you find your friends on tour, and um, I'll pass it to Mikey to say goodbye to you. Over to you, Mike. As you can see there, a nice, uh, nice reduction in the noise. Uh, a little bit of a tone there as well, so I did the notch filter. The automatic notch filter is excellent as well on this, really, really good. Uh, I haven't really played with the manual notch filters. I don't see the need if there's an automatic notch filter. The need may arise at some point, but uh, I know Icom's good stuff for filters and noise reduction and the, the noise blanking, uh, the noise blanker. Uh, is also really good you just need to know how to use it again it's a bit more complicated than turning it on and off i'll just have a quick look uh function where is it uh just turn the notch short off okay so the noise blanker uh you've got level depth width uh, the book goes into great detail explaining how you uh change the noise blanker and i've had a play with it and it's it is really really good at it's really, really good at getting rid of uh, pulse noises, ignition noises, uh, LED lights, plasma TVs, all that sort of thing. It's it's great at that sort of thing. You do again. You just need to know how to use it and how to tune it. Uh, so the I'm really impressed with the noise reduction on this radio. On the noisier bands, it's brilliant. You know, it really is a, a great filter. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.